Hello and welcome to Unix Services Training for Red Hat 7. We'll be talking about the new version release of RHEL 7, a training which is developed from Unix Services. Please do subscribe to us on Unix Services YouTube. We'll go ahead and learn today about the new RHEL 7 release installation. We are looking at the slide where which talks about what are some of the important features and architectures which Red Hat 7 supports. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 is available as a single kit where it supports only 64-bit architectures. It supports Intel and AMD 64-bit and IBM power systems and it also supports IBM Z series systems. So in RHEL 7 installation is only supported on 64-bit hardware. RHEL 7 is able to run 32-bit operating systems on the virtual machines as well. And we have three methods of installation. So we can either install it on GUI, text-based or we can also install it on Kickstart. We will see today how we will go ahead and install on text-based installation. We have a virtual machine which we will go ahead and create it right now. So we are using KVM virtual environment. And before we go ahead and create uh, a KVM based environment for installation, I would also like to discuss some points which are related to the installation. So what are the minimal requirements? So you can get the minimal and maximum requirements on the Red Hat website access.redhat.com slash articles slash rel dash limits which provides you the complete details about Red Hat minimal and maximum RAM and disk space for installation. So now we'll go ahead and install RHEL 7 on a KVM based environment. So let's give the name RHEL 7 and we'll choose forward for an ISO image. So we have the desktop on the desktop the ISO image which we are choosing and we can just take it forward so it automatically selects and uh, we will reduce our RAM to 512 megabytes so that we do not want to perform a graphical based installation instead of that we will perform non-graphical environment installation. So we'll just say take it forward and we'll just 8 GB of uh, disk space is enough for us to perform this installation. So we'll just take it forward and now click on finish and here we go. So we have three options which talks about installation and then testing the media, troubleshooting and then we have a tab. So once we hit the tab after choosing the install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0 so we get options here. So we'll remove these options and we'll just punch in text to start up the text installation 
we hit the enter key so it starts up the text installation for us so we get everything on the non-graphical environment everything on text so we have to choose each option so we'll choose the first option to set up the time settings we'll choose one and we'll choose six for Asia so we are located in Asia and we'll choose 39 for Kolkata so 39 is the option and then we have completed the time zone settings so our installation source is local media so we will not change anything else in case if we want to change it to any other sources it can be changed on option 2 we will choose option 3 for the software selection so if we choose option 3 so it will give you an option for selecting the kind of software you want so we will be installing the minimal install because we want this to be performed very fast or else if you want any other required server it can be chosen at this point and we'll go to continue C to continue and then we'll go to installation destination so where do we want to install so we'll choose option 4 and then we see that it has to be installed on the QEMU hard drive which has to be gone ahead and installed, the installed on this specific hard drive so we'll choose one we'll choose C to continue and here we see the options replace existing Linux system or use all space or use free space so we'll just go ahead and choose the second option use all space C to continue so now we w it has been asking us how to install so we'll choose the third option here option number three hit enter so we want to install it on a standard partition C to continue so now we have completed the part of installation destination where we want to install so now we'll choose the fifth option for network settings so the first option here to set the host name so we'll set the host name as unix services dot co dot in hit enter so we have set the username and then we have to go ahead and configure our network so we'll choose option 2 to configure our network and then here we have an option connect automatically after reboot so we'll choose option 7 to do that and <coughs> we have option 8 and then we go ahead and continue with this and we'll go ahead and continue with the same thing once again and we have to now set up a root password so let's go ahead and set up the root password defining the root password here so yes and all these things is complete so we'll hit B to perform the installation so now we have started the installation started picking up the packages so we'll continue on the next video how exactly we need to 
see some of the basic features of Red Hat. Thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead.